Alright, looks like we got a couple side quests here, maybe. But let's talk to Balfour first. No ball jokes. Not one, hear me? Understood. Care for a drink? Oh, I do love a touch of wine. And it's a cab, my favorite. Did you happen to see Hugo and Clementine here last week? Oh, did I? And wow, I never knew Clementine had such an aversion to... Well, you know. No, I don't know. An aversion to Hugo. There he was, fawning all over her, when she just suddenly lost it. Clementine called Hugo names that would make a sailor blush. Yikes. Then she threw something at him, which caused Hugo to fly into a rage. He told Clementine she'd live to regret those words, and that she had no idea what he was capable of. Then what happened? Then Hugo stormed north into the Valley of Oblivion. Malmura is in charge down there. Maybe she saw what he did next. Into Oblivion. Head to the Valley of Oblivion. Alright. I also want to check out these quests. You there. Assist me. I refuse to give in to this villain who is terrorizing Summer's Hollow, and neither should you. I'm not giving in. In Ganymede, there are some of those miasmites, nasty things. The screech of those nasties dying would surely send a signal to all their ghastly mates that Summer's Hollow will not be taken. Okay, I gotta kill five screeching miasmites. I'll check that. What up, Bogo Slav? I need assistance. They feel it, you know? Sense it. All the beasts and ghouls around these parts can feel the presence of some new dark current in the air. It's got them even more hungry and savage than usual. I can hear the wargs howling at night, calling for a new master. That's terrible. What can I do to help? Get rid of them, that's what. They'll just be more of a problem later when they are serving under a dark lord. Alright, kill four forest wargs. I'm gonna knock these out real quick. Dude, these things are so creepy looking. What the heck? Alright guys, I finished those two side quests, and I'm now here at the entrance to the Valley of Oblivion. Ooh, I just noticed these, that's kinda, ugh. Um, but let's head inside, and uh, check this place out. Valley of Oblivion. Oh gosh, another one of those things. Keep popping up everywhere. Okay, it's over in this direction. Undead Warlock, ugh. Stay away from these guys. Whoa, what is this place? Well, there's Malmira, so let's go talk to her. You are interfering with our duties. I'm sorry, but I just came from Summer's Hollow. What news do you bring? Is the malicious miscreant really demanding that all of the torches of Malik be relit? Yes, and I must prevent that from happening. The Ice Watch thanks you in advance for your efforts. What exactly does the Ice Watch do here? We are an ancient order stationed all over the Southern Realms. We are tasked with keeping the torches of Malak frozen so that the evil flames will never blaze their master's fire again. The miscreant wants the torches relit. What would happen then? It would be a sign to those scattered and leaderless beasts of the world that they might come forth and violently reclaim the land they once ravaged as their own. Such a thing must not happen. I need to know if you saw Hugo here last week. I did indeed. He was absolutely deranged, shouting and cursing, and then he threw something over near that old hooded statue. I wonder what it was. I'm sure it's still there. Hugo screamed at the dead, saying it was all theirs but they didn't seem too interested in it. And I'll find it. It could be a clue to this mystery. Look near the statue, somewhere around its base. I will. Alright. Um. Oh, that hooded statue. Alright. Let's go check this out. See what Hugo threw. Okay. Nud. This is, uh... Bounty Beast or something, right? Oh gosh. 200 HP. Hopefully I don't die. 
I got more than 200 though, so should be fine. I gotta work on my combat for sure. It's kind of tricky to move around and attack at the same time. 1 HP. Yeah, bounty complete. Alright. Oh, a ring. Engagement ring of Clementine to Clancy. A diamond ring that Hugo gave to Clementine when he asked her to marry him. She recently hurled it at him. Oh gosh, no wonder, dude. Like, what? I wonder why she just, like, lashed out at him and then threw the ring. That's, that's so weird. I mean, I don't really blame Hugo for being as deranged as he's being. Find what you are looking for. Yes, it's Clementine's engagement ring. And clearly Hugo didn't want her to ever get it back. I wonder what provoked Clementine in the first place. That's what I was just saying. More mysteries. You should show the ring to Iman. He's got a flair with gem spells and can coax histories out of them like you wouldn't believe. Where can I find Iman? He hides out in the eastern part of Ganymede Grove, near the cliffs. He does have a few obsessive habits, but humoring him might be worth it. I'll bet that ring could speak volumes. I'll find him. Thank you, Malmuria. Mal Mira Mal Mira <laughs> Whatever her name is. And good luck to the ice watch. Alright, gem coaxing. I gotta find Iman. That's a lot of XP. Did y'all see that XP? Like 20k? Wow. And of course he is all the way over. Can I teleport? Okay, first before I teleport, I just noticed. Sylvester, the Ice Watch, has a quest. Only someone would help me. I'll never graduate from being Malmira's apprentice if I can't stop dropping my staff. I get so scared thinking about my luck that my hands start to shake and I become a klutzy Butterfingers. Hmm, a wizard who can't hold on to his staff. That is a problem. Anything I can do to help? Yes, glue. I want to glue my staff to my hands. <laughs> The skeletons around here have an especially thick marrow to their bones. Collect four bits. Alright. Uh, this is another side quest, so I'll quickly rush through this. Okay, Sylvester, I got the bone marrow for you. Why would it be going poorly? Um, it went fine. Though I feel like this is not a great idea. I would have to agree with that. Ooh, Malmira will promote me for sure now because I will never drop my staff again. Thanks, Chakra. No problem, buddy. Alright, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna waste... Oops. Gonna waste the money to travel to the teleport pad. That's how lazy I am. Alright, let's go find Iman. Here's Iman. My eyes will never be bigger than stomach <laughs> dude where are your arms what the heck um how are you with gem revealing spells not bad why can you perform one on this engagement ring and tell me what it knows i don't do favors unless i have flavors that is my motto all right what can i get for you worms my stomach can't get enough of those meaty, wriggly wonders. Look in the dirt piles in the grove and see if you can find me some juicy worms. Ew. Okay then. Alright, I got all three worms. That's the sound of a hungry tolga. <laughs> Got something to feed it? Yes, three kinds of worms. Oh, these are delicious. So wriggly, too. Now please put a revealing spell on this engagement ring. Very well. Let's see here. Oh, that's interesting. What does it say? A gal with a peg leg used to stare at this ring in the jeweler's shop every day. She coveted its cold, hard beauty. Here, let's try to get some more out of the ring. Does the ring say anything about Clementine and Hugo? 
It surely does. When the ring was placed on Clementine's finger, the diamond knew instantly that the marriage was a sham and that Clementine loathed Hugo. Oh my, anything else? Yes, but my mother would kill me for repeating such words out loud. That Clementine sure had a mouth on her. Hugo must have been furious to have been called such names. Anyway, that's all the gem says. Thanks, Simon. I'll go report this all back to Gormlaith. Alright, let's do that. Boy, do I have news for you, Gormlaith. They're all disappearing. And they were all paying Gazette subscribers. Say, did you come up with any juicy tidbits for me to write about? Yes, I learned quite a bit. You don't say. Hold on, let me get my notepad. Go on. Clementine dumped Hugo and called off the wedding. You're kidding. What juicy news. How did Hugo respond to that? He flew into a rage. Hugo does have an awful temper. Almost makes him become a completely different person. You don't suppose Hugo could be the miscreant? It's quite possible. The mayor's own son. What a story. Oh, and speaking of the mayor, I might have another lead for you. Tell me. This is juicy stuff. I heard that Rhoda has been up to some shady business ever since she lost the mayor mayoral election. Hiccuping Rhoda ran for mayor? Indeed. And she has been quite a sore loser. She hates everyone in Summer's Hollow who didn't vote for her. You should talk to Tanaquil. She's known Rhoda for years. Okay, down at the docks, talk with Tanaquil and Summer's Hollow. You have earned the lucky seven. Every level that ends in a seven will grant a bonus talent point. Really? I think I got quite a few talent points. Um, let's see here. Probably put these into tranquility, I would say. Okay, Tanaquil is just over here. Let's see what she has to say. We should all just leave. We should leave right now. Why won't Mayor Gummel just order an immediate evacuation of Summer's Hollow? Best not to panic. I should never have voted for Mayor Gummel. I wish I'd voted for Rhoda instead. Was it a close election? No. Rhoda got slaughtered. And she hasn't been the same since she lost. Always so angry at everyone. Her mother is awfully worried about her. How so? Well... Rhoda's mother says Rhoda has been acting peculiar lately. She's become secretive and moody, and has been spending her nights down at Marigold Marina, doing who knows what. Is it possible that Rhoda could be the miscreant? Oh dear, oh dear, I refuse to believe such a thing. Maybe you should investigate. Of course, where is Marigold Marina? There's a mountain path on the southwest corner of Dagmar Strand. Once there, try talking to my godson. Decimus. He works the night shift on the docks. Huh. Okay. So Rhoda ran for mayor. Lost. And now she's like super upset. But I don't know if she would make Clementine disappear for that. Maybe she didn't like Clementine or something. But I think I'm going to end it there, guys. Um... The next quest we are doing is down at the docks. Find Tanaquil's godson Decimus on the docks of Marigold Marina. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, the way I do these guys is I record a big long stretch of footage. And then I cut the footage together because I don't want each episode to be like an hour long. Which is like how long I record for. So uh, that's why... I most of the episodes just kind of end and then start back up but uh yeah i hope you guys have liked the past few episodes and i hope to see you in the next one peace out